Hello friends, I hope you're all doing really well on this Saturday. Now you will have to forgive me because I have officially switched over from Streamlabs to OBS and I did rigorous testing, but you guys know me, there's always something that I have missed. So if you notice something's off, like I've just turned down the music, but I'm gonna turn it back up now. If that music that I'm talking over right now is too loud, let me know. Um, Yeah, right, the transition is super cute. I can't for the life of me remember the name of the shop off the top of my head, but they, they're so cool. They do like loads of packs and they come with like transitions and fonts and all of that fun stuff. Uh, so I definitely recommend them as soon as I remember the name. Um, thank you. We've got Daisy Topaz Glass in the chat. Hello, Daisy. Long time no see. How have you been? How has everybody been, actually? How is everybody doing? How was your week? How was your weekend? It's been, I think, almost three weeks since I've spoken to you guys. Uh, I've just kind of gone into, like, a hidey hole and, like, crawled under a rock to, like, do some videos and and stuff so i've just been away for a little bit um but i'm back now i'm here can't get rid of me that easy um hello max jock i saw you in the chat very early megan chamberlain hello lena's horseworld hello hello midnight and bianca i saw you in the chat as well it was boring as usual yes we're all everybody's back at school now and if you're not at school you're probably at work um so I hope everybody's still okay though. Hey Sandy, nice to see you. I see Dutch in the chat as well. Hi, I remembered your name. Um, I was unable to change the delay settings because I couldn't find it. Uh, I'll find it someday. Um, in the Streamlabs, oh, sorry, it's not Streamlabs anymore, it's OBS. I wasn't able to find the settings for that in the OBS. So uh, we are slightly delayed today, but it's fine, we'll, we'll get by. Um, I worked till eight quite a lot at the moment, so I haven't been around much. Daisy, no, I hope you're enjoying your job though. Get get that bread. Uh, your newest video is one of my favorites. I'll be rewatching like the RDR2 RP for sure. The um, 100 days, is that the one you're talking about? Or the one I released yesterday? I don't think it is. The, I don't think the one I, I released yesterday is the one you're talking about. <laughs> um, but thank you, Cass, that's really sweet of you. Oh my God, that video took so long. It like 26 hours of playing Minecraft like shortened down into like an hour video to be honest the editing wasn't that bad it was more of like you know committing to the playtime um oh my goodness midnight and bianca thank you for the six months halfway um and a year oh no do i not have oh, i didn't set up my chat box here wait i'm so sorry wait no i did did it come up if it didn't i don't know why it didn't come up okay well i appreciate you um midnight and bianca thank you thank you so so much um the thing is supposed to be here but it didn't, it didn't come up see i told you today's gonna be a bit a bit whiffy waffy because like some stuff is working some stuff isn't it's not to do with obs it's to do with me i'm i'm learning okay um hi dutch kind of chill it's nice to read novels nowadays it's really refreshing getting away from my computer a little bit uh, every now and again <laughs> tell me about it i'm like glued to this chair most days um i started going to the gym though and that's made me feel a lot better um it's just been really good. Uh, I just do classes um, and it just lets me AFK brain for a bit. I can just like, I, I, you know, the cards on the floor and they tell you what to do and how long to do them for and you just do it. And I can, my brain is just gone and it's great. Um, no, I was going to do something like that, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of the same thing. Uh, ever since like um, the swim mod came out, I was like, oh my God, I'd love to do like 100 days in Minecraft, but like, like horsey edition. Um, and I put it off for a really long time because I was like, yikes, that is, I did the maths. It was like a full day in Minecraft is like 24 minutes. So times that by 100, it comes to like 33 hours. That's obviously assuming that you're not sleeping in between. Um, but yeah, it was, did quite a while, but it it was fun. It was fun. Um, I'm glad you like Star Equestrian Schleich creations. I'll be making more videos on them soon. Um, thank you, Sandy. That's really sweet. That is that is really sweet. Um, I am actually a little bit behind on the chat. I'm, I'm scrolling up and down to, to make sure I, I don't miss anyone. <gasps> Midnight Bianca has gifted. Who got it? Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Free Dom Crew. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Free Dom Crew, for getting the membership by Midnight and Bianca. Thank you, Midnight and Bianca. That is such a lovely thing to do. Um, can we, can you, t can you guys message? Thank you, Bianca in the chat um if you're new here or aren't super familiar with how the membership gifting works you can't target people so you can't like give it to a particular particular person so when you do buy a membership it literally just goes to like a random person in the chat and i think that's so fun um it means that if you're watching the stream and somebody gifts you might end up with an abigail pinehaven membership which is awesome that's really sweet thank you midnight and bianca that's really sweet so it could be any of you who knows da -da 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 -da. 
Um, my favorite color is pink, for sure. Um, hello, hello. I know people are still kind of trickling in. Um, can you make more breeding videos on Rival Stars? I can. I can do that. And I will. I will. <laughs> um... You love live chats? Yes, I, I like interacting with you guys on the live chats as well. Like, it gives me a chance to like catch up, see how you guys are doing. Obviously, over here, the chat is missing. I don't know how to set up that widget. I have not figured that bit out. And it was always broken on Streamlabs, so I decided to leave it for today. Because this is the only screen that has like a built-in chat thing. So uh, I've just left it for now, but that's fine. Uh, my baby's flea, bo uh, flea box mold and lactose. I miss them. I know it's been so long since we've seen them. Um, she like creations. That's so cool. I actually have a couple um, people gifted me some schlikes and I got, I think it was, I got a Nikita. I got a Sporkle, of course, and a Dave and I got a cheese. I think those are, those are the guys I, I've gotten so far. Um, <laughs> Hi, Cute Cookie Gaming 05. I hope you're doing well. What an awesome name. Um, Abby, what are your favorite types of streams to do? That is a great question, Spark Games. Um, I think you asked me also another great question in my comment section, maybe yesterday. Uh, and I was like, wow, that was a really good question. Um, I think... I do like Minecraft, I'm not gonna lie. Minecraft gave me a lot of flexibility with what I wanna do and focus on and stuff like that. So, and to be fair, I haven't done many other streams recently. Uh, I haven't done Star Stable in ages, don't really want to. It's just, <sighs> I, don't, I won't get into it, but Star Stable's just not for me anymore. I've moved on. Um, Rival Stars I haven't done in ages. Uh, what, what other games do I play? <laughs> I don't even know. I think that's that's kind of it for what I stream. Um, oh, Red Dead. Yes, I haven't done Red Dead in ages. Uh, you've been enjoying the Star Stable Halloween. That's that's awesome. I have not logged on at all. I didn't have time to set my sparkle. Oh no, that's okay though. I, as long as you're enjoying it and, and you're, you have your own sparkle, then that's all I could ever ask for. Um, Wild Shade. Have you guys heard that Wild Shade is being released on the PS5 and it's gonna be 30 euros or something? Um, from what I can tell, and this isn't me judging them, but they did just kind of add horns to the horses <laughs> and just called it, I think it's Wild Shade Unicorn something, like Unicorn Races. So uh, that'll be interesting. Don't know why it's just for PS5. Okay, let me, who has a PS5 in the chat? It doesn't matter if it's like your parents or your brothers or you just borrow it from time to time. Like who actually in their house has a PS5? Because I definitely do not. If like, if I was to buy a console, I'd buy a PS4, right? I'd buy a PS4, but just, just because, like, the PS4 can handle a lot, and it's not quite as expensive. So you guys do. Would you guys consider buying Wild Shade on your PS5? Um, it's, if you haven't heard of Wild Shade, think Alicia Online, but not. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of just a little online. Um, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy it on the mobiles specifically. Um, I just don't know what the tactic is there for PS5 only. That's strange. Um, hopefully paid means less grindy for money like Rival Stars and Desktop. This was exactly my thought as well. It's a shame that they're not... I mean, I guess racing games don't... But then Alicia Online works perfectly on PC. I don't know why they wouldn't release it to PC. Um, but I have the same thought, Cass, and I was like, oh, I would actually kind of enjoy playing that um if i could like avoid microtransactions um especially since they they just eat so much money so quickly um i do not and would never get one. Oh my goodness sandy um are you not a fan of consoles then <laughs> yes of course we can be besties cute cookie gaming um welcome to the chat as well i feel like i haven't seen you around before did you change your name recently um Wild Shade does not work as a console game. PC, sure, but why? I recently got, I don't have it on me. I, I recently got a PS4 uh, controller and they're really cool, but the PS5 controllers feel like Xbox controllers. So I don't know how that's gonna work for like a, a racing game, but it's fine. Um, personally, I wouldn't see myself like buying a PS5 to play Wild Shade. I feel like that would be <laughs> a total waste of my time. So um, I won't be doing that. But uh, if, if it came to PC, I'd definitely like buy it on Steam or something. That would be nice, I think. 
Uh, but yeah, the only console I've ever had was the Wii. Oh, we had a Wii. And my sister had a horse game, but she didn't let me play it. Was it My Horse and Me? I, I love My Horse and Me and My Horse and Me too. That was like, that was like my whole jam. I love those two games. Um, yeah, we had a Wii as well. I think I had a PS2 and it was pink. Um, and my dad ended up getting a PS3, but that was like the end of our console era. Um, we all sort of like went on to, to prefer like PC gaming. It was, it was much nicer with, with PC. You can just get more done on PC, I think. You have more options. Um, anyhow, I'm glad you guys are doing well. Uh, I have a uh, confession to make, so let me go ahead and switch screens. Uh, I don't actually know if you can hear me between screens. I'm just gonna assume that you can, because I kept talking. And if you didn't hear that, it's fine. <laughs> um, so, hello, I'm in Minecraft. Um, and I have a confession to make, because I changed the roof. I, I changed the roof. Um, I know I said it wasn't, I wasn't going to, but I did. I changed the roof. Uh, I think, I can't remember what color we went for. Was it blue? I think it was blue. Uh, I, I did change the roof to brick. Uh, mostly because I was going for like more of a realistic style. You, you guys like it? Rest in peace, my blue, my blue roof. I know, I'm so sorry. I just felt it looked better, you know? It just, it just felt more vibey, you know? Um, do I have... I do, okay, just checking I have the right texture pack on. Um, we do have a pony here, this is just a stand-in pony. I haven't changed their, um, their coats yet because we're still messing around with a lot of the settings in Swem because Swem is not fully functional yet. Uh, we're not sure why it's not, but we're tweaking it because it's not open yet and we can still do that. So we're not in fear of like breaking anyone's horses. Uh, but essentially today, I wanted to try and make a paddock paradise. Do you guys know what that is? Um, they're very, very popular in the Netherlands, I believe. And I, if I was to guess, I'd mostly think that that's because the Netherlands have has a lot of like flat land. And so it's super easy to do a paddock paradise. And essentially the premise for a paddock paradise, you can Google if you want. Um, but what it is, is like you have like a set paddock, right? But on the inside, there's like electrical tape um, set up. So it creates almost like hallways that horses have to walk between and you set up different hay nets so that they have to walk in between the hay nets and then they might have to walk somewhere else to get water and it just basically keeps them fit fitter especially than if they just had like a square of land that they were like constantly grazing on and then they're also like standing on the grass and so you get muddy and you get like worn in and the soil loses its uh quality so I thought maybe we could fit one in here, right? But the problem is, is I really do want to keep the natural landscape. It's not a huge incline. There is a chicken there. Where did he, there he is. He's hiding in the bushes. I don't know how this chicken got here, but he's here. Um, so I really wanted to keep the natural incline, but that might make it difficult to make a paddock with. So um, I do actually, before we start, and I, I have a look at the, the chat again, I do actually have to fill in this little hole here. Um, the barn I ride at has uh, Paddock Paradise and it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It gives me dreamy such wild horse vibes and I love to go there even if it takes me 10 minutes to get there on foot. Honestly, it's worth it and you get a nice walk out of it. Honestly, that sounds so dreamy. That sounds wonderful. I agree and I think in general, um, paddocks have a really difficult upkeep because as I said, like, Basically, the horses are standing on their food constantly, and if it rains, it means they're compounding that into the ground, and the paddocks can just become a bit of a mess. So, whereas with the paddock paradises, you actually, like, where the horses stand is sand. Um, so that they move, like, they're standing on the sand, and then along the banks of where the electrical tape is, you have the grass, which they munch on on the side. So it basically eliminates the problem of them standing on their food, pretty much. And apparently it has, like, great health benefits because, um, you know, there's uh, issues with the ground, and obviously if they get something stuck in their hooves for when you're out, or um, or they've wandered off somewhere, that uh, they then bring that back and contaminate their own paddock. So it's generally just a really good idea to have one um and i think if i'm not mistaken you do have to have quite a big paddock to be able to achieve like a proper one but in general you don't need like huge huge spaces of land like you don't need to worry about oh my god i'm gonna need like 18 acres to do this you can do it on 
a relatively small parcel of land from what I've seen. Um, exactly, healthier equals better, absolutely. Um, thank you, Cookie Coo Coo Gaming, that's really sweet. Um, what's your favorite horse figure that I own? Oh my God, don't make me go into this. <laughs> I actually, hmm, I don't know, I think there's one over here that I really like. Um, I actually will do a video, not a, a tour, because I don't really have like a setup for my, my figures. But um, I do it like an unboxing video and that'll be out soon-ish. Probably not that soon, but um, it'll be out at some point. Uh, I think my favorite mold from Breyer is definitely the Totalus. Is it Totalus or Totalus? I don't know the pronunciation, but it's the one where the horse does like the big step. That one's my favorite. It's the traditional scale one. But that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> I like the new look on the barn. Thank you, Lena. Thank you. I was worried I was going to get yelled at, but I didn't. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we do have more of like an earthy look, which is kind of what I was going with originally. Again, the doors, the thing is, another thing that's broken and swam on this server, uh, it's not because of the server, it's maybe a config or like a loading area, but um, yeah, the gates don't open, so. Yeah, and then they like break and, and like do that. Like that is a physical block that I can't go through and like it just doesn't open. <laughs> so um, for now, as a placeholder, I've put in these shutters. Uh, obviously they are just trap doors so they don't actually move, which is a shame, but it's fine. Which figure should I buy from Brea? It's my first one. Whichever one speaks to you, I think. Have a browse, take it really slow, and um, choose one that speaks to you. Because I think I can recommend some, of course, but those are going to be my favourites. Whereas it's really important to have your own favourites as well. Um, so <laughs> I can see that the hearts are being spammed every single time. They, like, completely throw me off because I see something moving in the corner of my eye. Um, but thank you for, for giving me the hearts in the chat. Um, so, yeah, I'd say something that really speaks to you. Like, have a, have a good old browse. H have a look around. And then when you find one that you really like, set your sights on that for sure um do you know crafty ponies i do not is that a shop a game or a person it's always the biggest question so um i'm thinking how am i gonna do this so usually paddock paradises are either i mean they're, they're more squares aren't they and i said I, I wanted to keep the incline but that kind of limits sort of what i can do I'm going to do my electric fence trick. Uh, it's actually the bunting, the letter bunting. And what fence should we use? I could go with white. Is there like a metal looking fence? I mean, this acacia one looks pretty good. Oh, this one's a picket fence. And it kind of looks metal. Because usually they have the poles that, yeah, see that, that works quite well. Then let me see the acacia one. Um, the acacia actually looks, I th actually, I prefer the acacia just because it has a bit more texture to it. It doesn't look quite as flat as this one. Let me just check the birch fence. Um, if I wanted all white, oh, actually that, that one's quite skinny as well. Yeah, I might go with the birch for now. Yeah, I'll go with the birch fence. So if you haven't seen how I make electric fences in Minecraft, essentially, hello chicken. <laughs> essentially you put up two posts and then you go however many along you want. I usually do, what do I do? One, two, three, four, five. F five, yeah, I guess I'll put five in between. It might touch the floor though, in which case eh, it's kind of low. Do you, do you guys think I should do like a chicken? Yes. Um, do you guys think I should do a double one? I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. Uh, so instead of, we'll do like here, for instance. So we'll do one up here and one down here. So this one's a double one. So it's got like two lines, two wire lines. Uh, they have to be shorter in between the poles because otherwise like the, the letter bunting dips into the ground. Or should we do the one? Uh, it looks great. I actually thought acacia is reddish. Yeah, it might be in my texture pack. I thought the oh the outside of the acacia is um uh is grey, and I think in this texture pack they've changed it because the red wasn't that nice. You think the double? Yeah, I think that looks more realistic as well. But then that's gonna be a lot of fencing. Maybe we could do a double for the outside and then a single on the inside. Maybe. That could end 
catastrophically but we'll just have to see so i think the next sort of issue i have is shape right is i'll have to figure out i guess here is sort of like the biggest area i'll try and maybe pull this bit out so if this is let's just say we've made it so that okay and then we'll build this out to make it look a bit more natural so this will be one section and then we'll run it all the way back here run it across in like a square you know what i think maybe an l shape Ooh, you're smart hold on i'm gonna look up some references paddock para paradise uh i don't know would, would i need a drone view maybe here i'll switch screens so that you can see what i'm looking at so there is oh hello are you not gonna it's not working hold on let me fix that chrome ah here we go i fixed it um so welcome to my google chrome uh so i was sort of looking at like ooh, that's definitely not a square shape this this one kind of looks good right i kind of like that though this as well is kind of good so that means technically it does i mean this one is more of like your traditional square so they've got like this parcel of land here that is like cornered off and so they have to walk all the way back there maybe that would work do you think i need trees oh this is like quite a big one that they've set up but it's all relatively flat i think that's where, where i might fall down because it's not flat i don't know <gasps> oh wow this is like a huge one that they've did oh wait never mind this is just like normal pad these are just like normal paddocks i think that they've set up okay yeah we could try and do a triangle i don't know all right i think the best thing to do is to just jump into it and just hope for the best because if you don't try you'll never succeed or something equally as inspirational so uh let me bring up this i mean it is technically gonna have to be here won't it Ooh. Okay, so other walk paths where the horses go and walk into separate green pastures to eat. Mm, yes and no. I think you can multi-use it. So I think the general consensus is like the green areas are where grass is being allowed to grow so that the horses can eat at the edges. Um, you like the animations? Oh, thank you. I did buy them from Etsy. I can't remember the shop name. If anybody wants it specifically, ask me in the Discord. That's Discord GG slash Pinehaven. Slash Pinehaven. Um, but I don't remember it right now. Maybe we can do something else here to like fit this in. Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure, uh, just back to Sandy's question, that the paths are like they can eat the grass. And then you also put hay nets. So like you'll put one hay net here and make like a, a almost like a little maze for them to have to like walk to maybe the other hay net or the water bucket or something like that. So it's not like you're you're like preventing them from getting the food or the water, but you're just making it so that they're burning more energy and uh, generally they're getting more exercise in than if they were to like be standing on the grass that they're eating. I'm pretty sure, do correct me if I'm wrong though, I'm always open to, to being corrected if I am, if I do misspeak, uh, but I'm pretty sure I've got the general consensus, I think, I think yes it is generally a good idea um if i was to ever get my own home home stables which i don't know if i see myself doing home stables are a lot of work like you 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 have to kind of be a morning person i think and if you're not you kind of have to pay someone to be a morning person for you <laughs> and wake up in the mornings and take care of your horses so um unless i can do that i don't really see myself having a, a home stables maybe maybe one day i'll have like my own horse but it'll probably be boarded somewhere if you guys could buy your dream horse what would its breed be what would its um coat color be and um do you have like a preference in gender like would you like a mare would you like a gelding a stallion 
let me know what, what your dream horse would look like. I think mine would be, I mean, if I was to be like really bold and like I got really good at horse riding, I think it would be a Sporkle. So like an Arabian, but not one of those like dish face, Ara dish face Arabians. I mean like a, a really healthy looking Arabian. We could do like endurance riding. Oh, that'd be so cool. And she'd definitely be in there, I think. A jet black Arabian stallion, a stallion, 1000%. A black warm blood gelding. Oh, he sounds lovely. Um, my dream horse is a black and white American quarter horse on Star Stable, but as a stallion. Do you mean the, the Baylock one? The one that looks like Baylock? Because that one is really nice. Let me just uh, try and blend this a little bit better. Because otherwise it is going <laughs> to stick out a bit like a sore thumb. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so as for corners, let me just figure out where I am. So here, eh, 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 go all the way to... Okay, all right, I'll try and follow a semi, oops, I'll try and follow a semi now. Oh, I did, I missed this, I missed a square. Okay, I got it, don't worry. Um, I'm stuck in a writing period since we had to make a story for game, pla uh, game class and my head is full of words. Hey, that's awesome though, Sandy. I, I wanna play your game when you make it, absolutely. I'll be there, I'll be your game tester. Um, a Dutch warm blood, black or dapple gray and a mare, oh my goodness. Any bay lovers? My dream horse, he's a Dartmoor. Oh, I feel like nobody ever says Dartmoors. I think that's so cute. <laughs> I mean, do you want gold jump rings or silver jump, jump rings for the halter or lead rope? Oh, I think if it was me and Sporkle, I think I'm a silver gal. So I wear, even my, my watch is silver. I wear like silver necklaces. I'm a silver gal. And I think Sporkle might share that sentiment. But if I had Jericho, I feel like, cause he's a really dark bay, maybe he'd be more of a of a gold jump ring person. That's a great question, Schleich. That's a, that's a great question. A bay thoroughbred is my dream horse. Oh yes. Oh my goodness, they're like off the track thoroughbreds looking like bays. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I was thinking of making it available for people on the Discord. Um, it is only a game with text and options at the moment. The story uh, is ending at a certain point, so it's only under 10 minutes. Hey, that's awesome. That's so cool. And you get to have like feedback and like people play. I think that's awesome. Obviously, don't pressure yourself to do it, but uh, it, it might be good for you. You never know. Now, I can already sense that there will be a problem because I reckon... Actually, I'll just show you because I think that's probably best. See like how there is technically a gap here. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, this doesn't stop anything. I will have to go back in and put in barrier blocks, but at the minute I just want to put the outline down. But that looks weird, right? Because technically a horse could like <laughs> walk off the edge, <laughs> which isn't like ideal. I mean, I can like minimize it in some areas, but um, he's not great. Uh, definitely a great Arabian with white dapples and a mare. Oh my gosh, dreamy. That's so lovely. I hope that we all get to uh, own our dream horses one day. You guys, you can you can check back. What was that? Am I crazy? I... What is that? What is that on the corner of my screen? What is that? What are you? Oh, what is this? I'm so... That's so scary. I don't know what that is. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna ignore that. Um, Moving on. A Shetland pony with spots and a mane. Oh my goodness. Shetlands are very cute, but they are a little bit scary. And as a Chihuahua owner, I can confirm that the smaller they are, the angrier they are. So, you know, just, just bear that in mind, I think. <laughs> Visual glitches, I don't know. I don't know at all. Um, It just seems like there, there's a hitbox there that isn't like normally there. And I don't know why. But it's fine. Skizzle, member for 39 months. Get ready, losers. I can time out for up to 24 hours. So, Skittle, you'll be happy to hear that Streamlabs chatbot is gone. They've been fired. However, we do have stream elements. I haven't seen them in the chat, but I don't think that they'll activate unless instructed to. So uh, I might unleash the AI onto you guys. I'm kidding, I won't do that. But uh, you should be able to to chat more comfortably. <laughs> but Sk Skittle will come down uh, with the ban hammer. You know, they're, they're not afraid of that. One, two, how many did I do this time? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can do kind of maximum for one, two, three, four. Doop, doop. 
one, two, three, four. Now I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do for the entrance. The entrance will probably be here. If I was to choose, I would definitely go with this metal gate. But as I showed you guys before, they do not work, <laughs> which is fab, but it's fine. They can just be a placeholder for now. Uh, I was also gonna move it over here. Uh, and unfortunately the gates also don't snap onto like fences, which also kind of sucks. One, two, three, four, do, do. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's awesome. I love it when the stars align like that. Let's go. Okay, so I still haven't had, uh, cause I'm sort of like, this is kind of a pretty field anyway, right? I'm like, do I, do I really want to make a, make a par paddock paradise? I'm gonna do it because that's what I said I was gonna do. But now I'm like, oh, it's so pretty here though. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so on the eighth block, I think that's wide enough, right? Um, and then what I'll do, yeah, that's wide enough. So, the interesting thing, right, is that swim horses, uh, well, on this server, they've been config to not poop and not pee because that was such a nightmare to have to deal with. Um, but they do eat and drink, so they will actively seek out food. So I wonder if they'll actually, like, move through the, the paddock paradise if I set it up right, which is interesting. I am British, yes. I'm not Dutch. I wish I was Dutch. I love the Netherlands so, so much. I think the Netherlands is just an incredible place. And if I could move there, I totally would. My best friend is in the Netherlands and I love Stroop waffles. <laughs> Those are all the, um, the explanations you need, really. I like Stroop waffles and my best friend lives there. Plus, in general, the Netherlands is just, like, a cool place. I, I have said this so many times, so people are probably, like, sick to death of me saying it. But genuinely, Netherlands are 10 out of 10 awesome. Would would recommend. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this, I think. Uh, at the minute, it hasn't looked too bad. But don't expect me not to pull everything down because I hate it later on. Uh, that will be something we will have to see. You can have a chat with Abby. She might not bite. Might. <laughs> I might not bite. Yeah, yeah, I, I've got my I've got my rabies shot, guys. Don't worry. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's just do it here. Oh, what are you doing down there? Okay. Oh, no. Everything's falling apart. Um, here we go. Yeah, it's coming together pretty nicely. Uh, maybe I need to... Oh, that, that pole is just completely not where it's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be here, isn't it? So because we have kind of a, an intense corner, as long as there's, how many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Remember that number, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poop. But I guess it ex could extend it out that way. But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna pull it back one. Just to make it a little bit easier. Cause I, I think I can correct for it later. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if I was going to, Maybe just follow that line and make it like a square. Yeah, actually, we could probably pull it up this way. Sharp over here. Pull it all... I could even pull it all the way back here. But the problem is, is back here the land is, is trash. Like, most, most of this is stone. So I don't know why. I don't know why it would. Do the stringy fences, fences actually keep the horses in or are they there for giggles? Um, they are just there for giggles because you can pass through them. But if I set up barrier blocks, you won't see them and uh, they you will smack your face on them. So I have a Frisian. Uh, Skittle, you know, that took, I think the first, I've seen your, your Frisian before, but it wasn't until like three weeks ago that I actually registered that you owned a Frisian. And I was like, oh my God, you have a Frisian. I'm so jealous of you right now. So you also have another horse. What breed is, is that horse? You have two, I wanna say? I wanna say you have two. And they're like home property ones, right? Or are they boarded? I don't actually know. Is it, I mean, I was just saying, I don't know if you were here for that, but I, I said that if I was to ever get a horse, I don't think it would be like on property, like my own property. Uh, is If yours are on property, how does that sort of work out? Like, do you feel like, do your parents have to get up and take care of them? And then you also like help out. Are you up really early in the morning to take care of them? Like, how does that work? One, two. Uh, you know, I could bend this way. You know, I'm gonna do that because otherwise the horses are gonna lose like a ton of land 
Because over there's practically useless. Yeah, that's like practically useless. I could maybe put um like an arena here. Like a, a round pen arena. I don't know. For now I'll I'll stick I'll stick to the paddock. But I do think I'm gonna extend it out this way. Because otherwise they lose so much land uh, and they can't actually eat that much. So you can like creations. You are more than welcome to tag me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that there's definitely an area over there that I can't use for like active horse grazing and would need something built because you wouldn't just want horses on the stone. I feel like that wouldn't be very, very pleasant. Uh, I'm actually tempted to extend out from here, to be honest. Yeah, if I'm going to do that, though, I'm going to do that with the wand. So if I stick my point there and then stick my point here set grass block there we go that made my life a lot easier so i'm just gonna like even out the edges a bit um by like building that's not what i meant to do uh by like building out so that it looks more sort of natural and less like i've just slapped down a massive a massive corner your birthday's in 10 days happy birthday wait what day is it so it's the 24th is your birthday wow it's very close to halloween do you get halloween themed gifts if you don't like halloween i bet i bet you wouldn't like that but uh if you do maybe you would um swim on minecraft uh i i actually have a tutorial up if you'd like to watch that it's for pc only though so if you've got any other edition like the pocket edition or um bedrock it doesn't work unfortunately so you can get it just if you just google swim it'll come up the curseforge page and then just uh follow well you can follow my tutorial or just anybody else's on how to install mods just does this look right yeah that, that's fine okay so, e I mean, I could even bring the dirt up a bit closer to the back, but I don't really feel like I need to. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I think now I'm like, no, 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 because this is more about the horses. I was like, I could put like a mini track right here, but then I was like, nah, nah, nah it's fine. Because we'll, we'll stick, we'll stick to like being like pro horsey in that. Um, oh my god, I totally missed Skittles' messages. We pay to keep them in the field, but they're out all day and night with appropriate shelter. And thanks to routine, we don't have to get up early in the morning and can feed them stuff. Um, and feed them and stuff in the evenings. But since they're not in the stables, they can eat grass all day. And we don't have to get up early in the morning and put them in the field or feed them. It's, I mean, obviously, don't take my word for it. Because uh, I don't own horses, but that I have worked with horses. And I have also consumed a lot of horse information and media and generally the consensus that i have heard across 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 all ethical equestrians is that the more you turn out your horses the happier they are and in obviously as, as skittle has just um explained like it kind of makes your life easier as well because it just means that they're in their na like natural habitat so you're not having to faff around with like getting up super early in the morning um do you ever find those skittle that like there's a danger that like your horses might hurt themselves in the nighttime, right? And obviously you've, you've, you've gone to see them in, in the evening, but like, you know, let's say they hurt themselves like an hour or two after you've left and you don't maybe catch it until like um, in the later morning. Do you ever find that that's like uh, an, ex an anxiety point for you or your family? Or do you just kind of feel like you know the horses, you know that they're gonna get on and if not, you'll catch it quick enough, that kind of thing. I'm very curious because obviously I don't own horses so I don't really know how that works. One, two, three, four. Also, how did you convince your parents to get horses? Are they horsey people too or is that kind of a you thing? Hi, Missy, how you doing? Nice to see you. We're just talking about horsies and keeping horsies on property and off property and all of that fun stuff. Uh, Skittle's just giving us a um, an insight into their life, which is fun. And I'm also building a paddock paradise. So uh, it's going okay at the minute. So I'm doing the outline and then I'll do the interior bit. And uh, fingers crossed that'll be fine. Where to buy a membership? It should be next to the subscribe button or subscribed if you really love me. <laughs> um, but it should be there. It's like a blue button. If you don't see that, check the description because there is a link in there. If you click the link and it says it's not available for you, it means your region hasn't received memberships yet. Luckily, the person who owns the field ne lives next to the field, so she's quite often checks on them and tells us if she's concerned or anything. <gasps> that is a perfect setup, honestly. One, two, three, four. That's really smart. 
Um, because horses in general are like really prone to like hurting themselves because that's the thing is they're like big prey animals so they like get scared and they like fight sometimes um so you you're always like at risk of like turning up and then like not being okay but if you have somebody who's literally pretty much always nearby like watching over them that's perfect i've been playing so much black desert online me and my horse are quite snazzy i wanted to get into black desert online actually uh but i haven't i don't know why Maybe it's because the game is like mahusive and um, and like that intimidates me a little bit. Oops, not what I meant to do. Err. Yeah, I want to kind of keep this line here. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad you're enjoying it, Missy. That sounds awesome. What's it about? Tell me about um, Black Desert Online. And my mom loves horses, so I've been around horses all my life and I'm very lucky to be around them so often. My current horse we've had since I was three, so that's cool. That is wonderful, honestly. One, two, three, four. Honestly, you're living the dream, Skittle. I'm sure there are lots of people, including myself, who are very jelly of you. Um, but that, that's that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That must be, you're, you're like proper living the life. You're living the horsey girl life. That's awesome. I, however, get to do it in Minecraft, which is equally as cool <laughs> black desert online is a good game the donkeys are cute and there are other mounts as well sadly the horse model is yeah it could be better oh no it's literally just a grindy mmo unless you're like me and just play for cosmetics and horses fair enough and my uh queasy's like massively into world of warcraft uh i don't get it but she basically grew up on that game so there's like nostalgia in it but like grindy mmos just don't do it for me survival games oh i am on that i am on that game and i'm playing it for hours on end but like mmos i don't know they just they, they they don't hit the same for me one two three four i don't know why i do want to try black desert online though because of the honsies but they all oh, they also aren't like the most um high tier horsies that you can get but they're still good i mean how old is black desert it is quite old isn't it oh my god hi <laughs> oh hi sandy oh my gosh that's so cute we love sandy i never got the chance to ride but i want to be horse police and make my little make little me happy it's so sweet i was thinking about being horse police obviously uh that did not happen <laughs> i am not horse police um but yeah that, that is obviously um a route that you can kind of get into i wonder what like the qualifications are because obviously you can't just become police and then be like oh, i want to be in the horsey sector you do have to have some sort of like um like skills in that regard but you also have to be like a good police officer as well you can't just be like i like horses and then like not know anything about the law <laughs> one two three four yeah here we go what are, what are everybody else's like job prospects looking like if you don't already have one um and if you do are you considering changing for any reason um when i was younger i wanted to be an actress and i actually went all the way to college doing acting i would literally do after school activities with acting I went to like two different clubs i always did acting in school gcc drama um i did my higher drama as well i went to a fancy dan college as well and then the pandemic broke out and as you can imagine not many people were going out to watch uh, shows and, and whatnot and i wasn't big into like movie and film which is kind of strange looking back but i think i was just like super insecure on camera that i couldn't like control um so yeah i never is are these two connected oh they are oh it's really low though oh it's because i didn't do it right can I remove this one yeah so um i didn't end up doing that and i do this now full time so you never know where life might take you and i'm not unhappy absolutely not i'm very very happy with my current job uh, maybe even more happy than i would have been uh pursuing acting because acting is brutal as uh, anybody in the industry will tell you my aunt worked in the horse police so she's gonna help me oh <gasps> smart very very smart it's always um a great uh, benefit when you're able to to get some uh, insider knowledge and just just have somebody there to help coach you because otherwise you're kind of just you're going in blind um but that's interesting wow i really want to have a small horse rescue be a horse trainer and riding instructor but we'll see i have heard that um it is profitable but it's hard like it's very difficult because the pay directly to trainers isn't that high like for the amount of time and work that sort of goes into it 
Um, but it is still like once you make it, you properly make it. You know, you get to do like clinics and you get to do like horse training for people. And it does end up being quite uh, profitable in the end. So that's really interesting. Um, Abby, if you want light, hot pink or dark rose pink. If you want, you can choose two pink tints. <gasps> I think I can't see them, but if I was to... I would I think I'd pick light pink and if I get to pick a, sec a second one I'd go with dark rose pink um, Stay away from like magentas. I'm not a huge fan of like really bright pinks like Barbie pink It's beautiful, but not for me. I'd prefer like a dusty kind of pastel pink. That's 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 more for me I love any castle uh, uh, Color in pastel though. I think pastel colors are just the best one two three four Do 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 I want to be a volcanoologist. Well, I was afraid to say that fast because I was like, I'm going to say that wrong. Volcanoologist. That is one of the coolest jobs I have ever heard. Tell me, what do you do as a volcanoologist? I'm going to assume you uh, take measurements from uh, from volcanoes and you study volcanoes. Um, just a guess. But that is so cool. Obviously, um, I am currently talking to a more uh, equestrian driven audience. So I know that a lot of people sort of want to be around horses and I absolutely support that. But that's awesome. Wow, I have a friend who is a marine biologist and she is in South Africa. And uh, I have to admit, like, I'm not into marine life at all. I'm actually afraid of fish. But uh, the stuff she does is really, really cool. It's like, uh, obviously, you have to do a lot of studying for it um, and a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, schooling, you have to go to uni, that kind of thing. But the, the work that she's doing now is really cool, like postgraduate. I'm working in Riot's music department for Legion. Shut up, shut, shut up. Missy, you are not, shut up. You didn't tell me you're working for Riot. You didn't tell me, Missy. Oh my God, shut up. That's amazing. Are you serious? Oh my God, Missy. That's so cool. Congratulate you must be over the moon with that. That is awesome. You're working with Riot. Riot Games. That's so cool. I mean, I'm not a League fan, um, but I do like the the show. The show's pretty cool. <laughs> Surprise! That's so cool. How have you kept this that quiet? I would have I would have just not been able to shut up about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, Missy. You should be well proud of yourself. And you definitely deserve it as well. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm planning on doing engineering in university. Ooh, fancy. I'm going to try and get uh, into Southampton University, hopefully, because it's supposed to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get, like, a, a grasp on, like, what uni is, is, is like and what is good and how to, like, base what, like, is good or not. Generally, going off of, like, student reviews is, is, is a great idea, but uh, best of luck to you, Skittle. That's awesome. Um, Abby, do you have any tips for new YouTubers? Uh, I've been doing YouTube for a year and I've been doing RDR2 for a few months and I don't know how to grow my channel because I spend hours and get hardly anyone on vid. Um, so I'm going to be very annoying and I'm going to be the person that is like, make what you want to make. You know, I'm, I am going to have to say that because I feel like we all need to hear it sometimes. Just make sure that you're happy with what you're making and then it'll seem less like... Um, you're not going anywhere because you're constantly evolving your skills and getting better and stuff like this um, It's a great idea to sort of study uh, Trends that doesn't necessarily mean like copy word for word what somebody is doing um, But finding your groove is really important. Uh, I would recommend uh, You can get certain what they called. I don't know what they're called like YouTube analytic uh, like not programs like browser extensions one the one i use is vidiq uh, i knew people use tubebuddy as well that those will like give you better insights into your analytics they'll like you can compare your channel to somebody else's you can compare like um ai generated uh titles and see what percentage like uh view rate that they would mo most likely get that will help you get into more of the like the nitty gritty of um information and analytic wise um other than that just trying new things you'll be surprised something that you think won't stick might stick you know i've had that where i think that a video will do well and it doesn't and i think a video won't do well and it does so you never really for sure know so it's more about just trying what you want to try is pretty much what i what i'd say um keep at it don't give up it's it's a tough market out here you know it was a tough market when i entered it obviously just as a hobby um back in 
2016. <laughs> I've been here a while. Um, but, you know, it's just going to keep getting tougher because there's going to be more people um, able to dedicate more time to it and stuff like that. So uh, just keep at it, you know? Make sure you're doing it for yourself as well because that will help your longevity, I think. Because if you're doing it for like a monetary purpose that is completely valid don't get me wrong um but you'll feel less motivated when you start to see those numbers decline or you don't start you don't see those numbers at all um exactly like you might think that something will work and it doesn't or you might think something won't work or you're not like super into and it really does work so just mostly do what you want to do you know <laughs> You know what, in November, it's gonna be up like three years since I became mod. Wh why did I mod you in November, Skittle? Oh, wait, no, that was, why did I mod you in November? That's a strange timeline. Cause, um, oh, what's their name? Pickle, the purple is Pickle. I know I made them a mod for my, um, what's it called? Ah, well, Tours. Um, so it made sense that I was doing like mod things. Why November? I feel like that's a strange time. And I think I made you a mod with someone else, but I can't remember who it was now. I don't remember. Either way, I appreciate you, Skittle. Thanks for sticking around. Um, you're, you're awesome. Thank you so much. It's because there was like no mods in the chat and Pickle was like, Skittle would be cool. Oh, okay. I mean, they were right. Spickle, a uh, Spickle? <laughs> Spickle, yeah. S uh, Skittle, Lilla, I've lost my tongue today. Skittle is cool. So they were correct. Okay. So we have had some collisions as you might have seen over here. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you think they should add dressage to rival stars? Um, now, don't be if don't don't be mad. I disagree with you. Okay, and I'll explain why. Okay, I will explain why. I also missed did the person who said that they were going to be a volcanoist. That's, <laughs> that's probably not what they said. <laughs> um, answer me because I saw like a paragraph and I like missed it. Here we go. Yes, you're right uh, on that, and you get to test samples and stuff. Uh, I've loved volcanoes since I was. Uh, in year five now, I'm in year 11. I've been studying a lot for it. And then I'll have to go to A-levels and college, etc. I'm so sorry I missed that. I was actually waiting for your answer because I was very intrigued. Um, I hope you become a volcanoologist because that is an awesome thing to do, to be. Anyway, back to my um, thing. Uh, I don't think Rival Star should add dressage because, um, and I said this in one of my other videos, I can't remember which one, but I said that Rival Stars do adrenaline very very well their racing element peak it's so good you feel like you are in that race it is so good and then cross country came i'm sorry i despise the cross country okay maybe despise is kind of a strong word i just i don't like the cross country um i think it's boring i think it's repetitive i think it's um there's just nothing to it there's no nitty gritty uh if like Tales of Rain Ravine, great example of you can get adrenaline in the jumping because there's technique, there's timing, you've got to be paying attention. Rival Stars, I point and shoot. I press A and D sometimes. I press space sometimes. There's nothing to it. I don't, yeah. Dressage would be the same thing. It wouldn't be, you know, open world dressage. It would be like press A or press W. Like I just feel like it wouldn't be involved enough. And Rival Stars need to be involved because they do adrenaline so well, so, 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 so well. Um, the thing with dressage, right, is I think Star Stable Dressage community is a great example of this, where they have taken a part of a game that just doesn't exist. Star Stable does not have proper dressage. Um, and the dressage they did have kind of sucked in my opinion. Obviously, everybody's allowed to have their own opinion and some people thought it was great. I thought it was just boring. I wasn't into it. Um, but they basically have created this whole community uh, and created dressage that is fun and engaging. Um, however, it's kind of difficult to do when you just have to like button mash, if you get what I mean. Again, it's just my opinion. Um, you might disagree with me, but I personally think Rival Stars should stick to... I'm so glad they've added Steeple Trace. Steeple Trace is a yes for me. I haven't played it yet, but I want to. It looks really, really cool. I love cross country. I prefer cross country in games, but I wish I had more varied in courses and more technical elements because generally I prefer cross country uh, to racing in games. That's completely fair, and I agree. I think had they done it more 
involved. I think the problem is, is they were working with the mechanics that they already have, which worked incredibly well for uh, the racing, which was, you know, you have your pulling in, you're pulling out, your decreasing speed, increasing speed. It's very like tactical because there are other races with you. In cross country, there isn't. You're beating the clock. And so you have to add a more technical aspect. Um, you know, as I said, the Tesla and Veen, they, I don't know if they've done cross country, but they've done jumping. But let's be real, cross country is just like very intense jumping over like a long distance. Um, but I, I, I just think that they haven't really done a great job on it. Um, and I've said that before and I will stand by what I said. Um, unit, I think he's asleep. He He's a bit skinny at the minute because it's really cold up here. So he's burning a lot of energy trying to stay warm because uh, he hates clothes. Have I said that before? He hates clothes. He just hates, I can't even describe to you guys how much this dog hates clothing. <laughs> like it's, it's just, it's irrational, honestly, but he hates clothes. So he will not, ev well, he will, I'll put him in it, but he's not happy when it does. So um, he does spend a little bit of time cold, especially when he's outside peeing. So he is a bit skinny at the minute. So he's kind of got to be fattened up. Uh, his birthday's soon, actually. His birthday is sometime in November, I think. Um, sometime in November, I think. I want to say the 11th or the 9th. It's one of the, those two. But he's going to be three years old. My little baby's growing up. I have heard that chihuahuas can live to a very old age, and I'm really fingers crossed for that. I am very, very much fingers crossed that I'll be, like, 40, and I'll still have little unit. He'll still be little, actually. I was about to say, well, we wouldn't be so little then. No, he's still be tiny. He's just a tiny guy. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. That's three. I can't count. There you go. See, I knew this was going to... <laughs> I mean, I've, I've made some decent progress. I think the, the biggest thing that sucks with the uh, this type of fencing is it doesn't load in far away. So they do kind of just look like posts that's fine bye sandy thanks thank you um oh you want to take a walk oh fancy um if you're streaming later sandy i'll come i'll come say hi uh but have a wonderful walk thank you for joining us it's been lovely <laughs> i think cross country um could be so engaging in a game like driver stars since irl is dangerous and you can get that adrenaline rush like in racing but they just didn't do a great job with it i agree i totally agree um i think as I said, I think that's mostly down to them using the mechanics they already had, which don't translate well at all. Um, you know what? I'm thinking of actually pulling the fence up around here because over here is just so stony. I just don't really want to put the horses over here that much. Yeah, I think I'll pull it up here. So I won't go too much farther, I don't think. I'll go a little bit farther, but not too much. Um, yeah, like I just kind of think that they needed to spend more time thinking about the mechanics um and as i said in my rival stars ideas video i don't know why they went from racing to uh, to um cross country when you have steeplechase i mean like if you were going to add a jumping mechanic why would you not add it to steeplechase you know i don't know i don't get it uh, but they did end up adding steeplechase so i, I can't complain that much I can't count. Um, I'm still wait waiting for a stunt riding video game. That is a game that I have not seen any anyone try to attempt. Um, I think Unbridled were a bit more sort of out there with their uh, archery, but they sort of dropped that. Like I haven't heard much about it, which sucks because I felt like that was such a good selling point of the game. You know, um, I just feel like horse games are trying to do the same things as each other so it kind of makes everything so samey and you're just like yeah this is another game where i run and jump and this is another game where i you know brush brush my horse with my mouse and it's just like uh give me give me something else i tell you what let me go on to a game development team i'll be i'll be your lead lead d director <laughs> yeah so i'm sure that's a real position uh i'll be your lead director and i will give you great ideas for a game because i um have said before i want to make a post-apocalypse game ew uh, i want to make a post-apocalypse game um and i would totally make it but this is the thing like i couldn't decide if i wanted zombies or not if not then it would be definitely about like 
the world maybe has like quote unquote ended and you're like a horse trader. And so you breed and sell horses to like the local community. Um, yes, I do, Missy, I do. That honestly, we had such good ideas for that. Absolutely, we should have been allowed to, to make, because did you hear that Star Sable are redoing the story? Did, did you hear, because I did hear this and I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna ruin it. <laughs> This is the- I don't have any faith in Star Stable. Um, if you still like Star Stable, no disrespect to you at all. I have just- I've been here for a very long time. And I have seen all of the shenanigans that Star Stable have pulled and it has gotten very tiresome. So, um, I don't have faith in this considering everything. So, uh, I, you know, I don't have high hopes. Yes, they are redoing the story. Uh... Me and Eleanor Nightwalker actually talked about this a little bit, and, um... I mean, she has more faith in them than I do. <laughs> she definitely has more faith in them than I do. But at the same time, like, you know, it's their story at the end of the day. You know, I can complain and I can say, you know, I wish they brought this element back or I wish they did this, and they won't, because it's their game. But at the same time, I, I can still complain about it. No one can stop me doing that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's been such a long time, but they had such a good story going, you know? Um, yeah. I think they, they put it in their blog somewhere. They, I definitely saw... Ooh, this is going to be a messy area to do. I'm going to try and even this out a bit. Um, so it's, it is a shame. You want to be a biologist? Oh, that's awesome. Lots of, lots of studying, though. Lots and lots and lots of studying. I didn't take biology for any of my classes after like from my GCSEs because there is something oh I've lost hang on uh weather clear there's something about learning about the body that you're in is so freaky to me and I don't mean just like general question like general things that you should know about your body because you're living in it but I mean like learning the real up close details of like how bones work and blood and stuff like that i'm just like yeah because it makes it makes me like hyper aware of myself like you can't feel blood in your um your veins you can't like properly feel your um heart beating but like if i'm learning about it i'm like ah, i can't feel it i can't really but you know it gets into your head and so i was like yeah i think i'll skip out on that one thanks uh but all the more power to you all the more power to you for, for wanting to do that <laughs> I like learning about fungi. Oh, yes. Um, I actually think that natural, like, biology in terms of, like, plants and stuff, that was where I was, like, I think actually that was the most boring, but it was also more interesting than, like, like, physical biology, if that makes sense. Like, fungi are cool. The leaf system was kind of boring to learn about, but, you know, I guess it's kind of relevant. But yeah, no, it just made me too aware of myself and like, ugh, and then having to sit down and study it while I'm also feeling like the tissue in my, my arms. I'm like, ugh, no, no, thank you. I'm going to skip out on that one. Bye, Missy. Have a lovely day at work. I don't know if you're going to riot, but um, you're so cool for that. Congratulations again. Uh, and have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for swinging by. Which mob do you want for 1.20.1? <gasps> so... Knee jerk reaction, I was like, I want the armadillo because I want dog armor. Cause like, people are arguing that you wouldn't really use dog armor. Like you'd use it and then have your dog sit in your house cause you don't want it to die. Um, but I want dog armor. But at the same time, I've been hearing about a lot of backlash about the, the mob vote. And this is no disrespect to any YouTuber who's done this. And I am looking at Dream, um, but it, it is kind of known that YouTubers tend to kind of rig the votes. Because if you have a super popular YouTuber like Dream, and he says, I want you to vote for XYZ, a lot of people are going to vote for XYZ. You know, if he said, go vote for the penguin, the penguin's going to win. Um, so it's not really fair in that regard. Like, you know, it's not super fair. So I think as people have been pointing out, like this is a multi multi-million dollar company and they're only giving us one mob a year like and, and the mobs sometimes feel like they don't have that much love in them like they're not fully sort of fleshed um and as somebody pointed out the mob vote gave us phantoms now genuinely does anybody like the phantoms 
Or is it that every time you create a world, you make sure to turn phantoms off? Because that's what I do. I, I just... I, no, I'm not playing with phantoms on. I, sometimes I want to stay up all night building and I don't want to be attacked for it. I'm sorry, phantoms suck. Uh, and I don't want to spawn them either because they're not even cute. So I am not a fan of phantoms. And the mob go vote gave us them, so. Um, I do, of course I remember Rocky. Of course I remember Rocky. He will live on in my heart forever because very sad times, honestly. I voted for the armadillo. Yeah, I was going to vote for the armadillo as well. <laughs> uh, Skittle said something. Skittle, did you say something? Oh, here we go. Personally, this entire hate against Dream, I just do not like him. But exactly. Again, as I said that, it's not because I don't like Dream as an individual. Like, he seems like a pretty decent guy. But when you have that much, like, influencing power, it is a bit unfair to be like, okay. When you know, like, you have a huge audience that is going to vote for something. Um, I don't know. I do not know. Just just not the vibe, I think. They they need to I obviously the mob vote is like a tradition, I think, in Mojang. But it's a tradition that doesn't need to be continued because it's not working very well anymore. And that's okay. Sometimes things need to change. And that doesn't mean that the past is invalid and it doesn't mean that that tradition didn't mean something to somebody. But it just doesn't work anymore. Let it go. It's fine. We'll we'll live without the mob vote, I think. Ah! But they I don't know if they're gonna get rid of it though. I just I just heard that there's backlash. That that's all I know. Um, why is there some with blue name tags? Oh, um, those are moderators. <laughs> I was like, blue name tags. Like I was like, like thinking in my game, is there someone with a blue name tag? No, um, th those are moderators. So essentially, those are people that I trust uh, with community management. So if they see somebody who's yelling a lot or just being um, a bit of a nuisance, they can help just calm things down. Uh, they help me manage the chat. So if you see someone's name in blue, it's because they're a very cool person. Why does it keep raining? Stop that. Okay, now we have our outline. It's it. Ooh, this is going to be very difficult to do. An interior for. It's going to take me like twice as long. Okay. Are we still. Boo, I'm a mod. You are. Uh, are we still good, happy with the idea of a paddock paradise? Or should I just like leave that as like a paddock is there anybody against the idea of a paddock paradise oh that's cool shine creations minecraft needs new horses and better emotes and blocks for them yeah that's just not gonna happen though unfortunately there's a lot of stuff minecraft could add and if horses are already in the game they're not going to like expand on it um which is a shame Oh, hello. Sorry, Skittle. Um, Paddock Paradise is... Um, oh, okay. So, sorry. I've just assumed that people know what I mean when I say that. Uh, essentially, I'll show you, actually. Uh, let's switch screens. So, essentially, a Paddock Paradise is where... This is a good illustration. There was one earlier, I think. Here. So, essentially, what you have is, like, a paddock that is like fenced off so you have these like walkways where the horses can walk up and down and you'll put like one hay hay net over here and then put one hay net like over here and so instead of like just walking straight across the horse has to go all the way around and it just helps them to like move more um it's better for the ground because they're not like standing where they're eating and it lets like these patches sort of grow back and then you don't have to have like two paddocks to have like one for winter one for summer you can just like re redo like the area that the horses are like standing in um it's very popular in the netherlands here's like another example where the horses like walk around like sort of a green patch and then they can stick their heads through and like munch on the grass um without like standing on potential like growth areas so um yeah that's pretty much a paddock paradise and i was thinking of doing one for this area that i'm building in uh let me pull my chat back up um, as you can see, like I fence off this sort of section here so that they sort of walk the perimeter, if you will, and then have like an interior place where they uh, can't go. But I'm like, oh, it's kind of going to take me a long time to do that. It's kind of going to take me a very long time to do that. And to be honest, this barn needs improving because it's just lacking detail, especially on like the outside. I'm 22 years old. Thank you for asking. 
Um, so do you think I should stick to the Paddock Paradise? Because if so, I might be like a typical YouTuber and be like, I'll do it off camera. <laughs> I'll just I'll just like leave it for off camera because I do want to do some different decorating uh, to give my brain a break. But I was enjoying doing that because I got to kind of AFK brain and chat for a bit, which was nice. But um, yes. Uh, can you join swim? So yes, you can get your own swim mod. This server, which actually, if you'd like to, you can have a look at the map. Uh, there's a, it's called the Sporkle map. It's in the description below, so it should be underneath me. Um, if you're on mobile, I don't recommend going to look at it because you're gonna be taken away from the stream. If you're on PC though, or uh, iPad or something, I think you can like open an extra tab and just have a look through there. It's a live update map, so you'll see me like moving around in it. Um, <laughs> so that the, it's pretty much. The reason it's called Sporkle Island is because it's in the shape of Sporkle's head. So um, we have it like a custom map made and it's awesome. And so I'm just putting in some extra stuff. This will be like a premium server that you guys can join later on once we've got everything sorted out because it's still sort of like, yeah. So instead we can do, I think there's sort of two options for us to do. We could focus on the courtyard. So I'm gonna need to maybe put like hedging, maybe some fencing, figure out what I'm doing with like this middle section. Um, or option number two, I think this is the feed room. I can't remember which one I decided was a feed room. I think this is the feed room. We could either do the feed room or option number two, the tack room. Yeah, this must be the tack room. I can't remember. I said it last time. I said which one was which. And I had a very specific reasoning for that. But I can't remember what it was. So um, we can either do the tack room or the feed room as well. So um, it's up to you guys. It is up to you guys. What would you like? What would you like me to do? Oh, um, yeah. Please don't ask people where they live. <laughs> tack room, feed room. Tack room. I'm seeing more of the tack room. You guys want me to do like interior design? Oh no, this is going to be terrible. I am decent at interior design, but it takes me a while to get there, you know? It, it, it takes me a little while. Ah, it keeps raining. Stop that. Stop. Goodness, can we have cheese board on the tack and feed room? Do you mean like a board with cheese on it? Or do you mean like a board with the name cheese on it? Because those are two very different things. Okay. So it's definitely between the tackle the feed room. I think I'm feeling feed room. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the feed room. I think I'll put the feed room. Yeah, I'll put the feed room in here because I think I'll need more space for the tack room than I do the feed room. So the first thing I want to do is see what shelving options we have. Uh, I don't think many of these are what we're looking for. So instead, I'm gonna look at slabs because those are pretty much usable shelves. Uh, what color do we go with though? I could change the flooring as well. Cause I remember, oh no, wait. Oh, I don't know. Should I change the flooring? It's currently um, Bricks Cottage Mahogany. <laughs> Great name. Um, I could change it, but you know, I guess it looks okay, I guess. Is there time for both tack and feed room? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, actually it kind of depends on how long this takes, but I'm just gonna say yes for now. I mean like for real cheese, not cheese the horse. Okay, cool. So you want cheese. Yeah, I really wanted um, Wild Farm Craft, was it? I think it was Wild Farm Craft. It doesn't work for some reason. It's not like getting along with the other mods, which sucks. Do I speak Spanish? Yo no hablo espanol. S'il vous plaît. That's French. <laughs> uh, how do you say sorry in spanish i don't know i do not speak spanish though <laughs> in case you couldn't tell uh, i have all the animals in my house uh such on my bed except for one they take up my whole bed honestly that is an awesome awesome time uh i only have one dog and he's the best to snuggle with although he does kick me in the face sometimes which what are you gonna do uh so i guess i could do oak slabs would that I mean, there's kind of a lot of textures in here. I could, what's this, birch? I could go with like birch instead. Yeah, I guess maybe that would be better. Yeah, just to kind of maybe blend seamlessly with the room. Bro butchered, I don't speak English, then started speaking French. Oh, yo no hablo, I know I said yo no hablo espanol, right? I don't remember, but I think you're right. Uh, <laughs> your cat hid, hid the pizza that he stole. 
under your bed. I think he was gonna eat it. Ooh, um. I think it's game rule. Aha, do weather cycle false. I'll set that off for now. We can, <laughs> Abby is not Hablo, not yo no Hablo. But is it not yo no Hablo Espanol? Like I don't speak Spanish. Cause yo is I, right? I could be wrong. I could genuinely be wrong. So anyway, uh, we do have grain bins that we can put down. I do quite like these because they look very, oh, they look very sleek and professional. Obviously, that's way too many of them. I'm not going to be putting that many down. So I feel like a lot of tack rooms are sort of mirrored. So I'll sort of do, although most, or at least the tack room that I worked in, it had like, you know, the, the round dustbins, but instead they were obviously cleaned um, and they put the feed in there. So you had like a scoop that you'd scoop in and they were just sort of along here. And then you just sort of had the buckets. I definitely want a workbench, I think. So we'll do table. I spell table. Uh, birch table from decorations. I'm looking for something kind of simple though. Maybe this. Yeah, so you have like a corner table where you can come and like put the buckets and put the feed. Um, ooh, do you, do you guys have a sink? Like, do you put a sink in... I guess you'd put a sink in the feed room, not the tack room, right? You would. Hmm. <laughs> thank you, Maya. That's very sweet. I was watching the video of 100 Days in Minecraft. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not finished it, make sure to go back and continue to enjoy it. Yes, yeah, sink, sink in the tack room. So, I think I might change that table then into something else unless we do that's not gonna match at all i mean we have this does that look silly i don't know i think a window definitely needs to be punched in here glass uh we'll put in what does the stables have what did i put in the stables ah whatever this is okay light blue stained glass wall is what i put in here okay okay uh i won't punch anything out here just yet hi jen how you doing hope you're doing well uh just have a bucket of water that we fill up sometimes <laughs> you just have like a hose outside or like a tap <laughs> sink for cleaning tack we could put another one in the tack room for sure uh but generally right most people most people have like a sink in the in the tack room and if not they have like a tap outside so i think if we're gonna be bougie and have a sink inside i do need the sink to match though oh my goodness uh cabinet see there's there's these but these are so ugly i don't wanna uh oh th these are quite nice cabinets actually these are birch ones Those are kind of nice. These are so butt ugly. Oh my gosh. Why would you want this texture? Why would you, why would you want this tech? This is just awful. That's so bad. Why would you not want the like normal logs? I don't know, but they're terrible. I don't like. Um, those look a bit plastic. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. So instead, ooh, ooh I know what I'm going to do. Is there anything else that needs to be in the tack room? You wouldn't, you wouldn't like want to... You wouldn't want like a stove in your in your feed room, would you? Did I see tack room? Sorry, I meant feed room. Let's see what's in the swim mod and see if there's anything we can shove in here. Uh, I was thinking like if you were to like install a unit, right? Like my dog. Um, you'd have obviously this is like central, so you'd have a sink. I mean, I could just do this. That's fine as well. But now the sink kind of doesn't match. Not in swim. Sink. Maybe instead we could have. I guess they. Is there a grey one? Cyan. Cyan's close enough. Like, does that look bad? Did you guys prefer the other one? Did you prefer this one? I don't know. Nothing's nothing's quite matching. Okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Cabinet. What are they called? No, they're not called cabinets, they're called something else. 
I'm looking for Mr. Crayfish's. They had a kitchen section and I can't find it. Oh, here, countertop. So instead, if we got cyan and we did this, yeah? Is this better? Yes, you was totally right with the counter. Yeah, is this is this better? And then maybe put like that up there. Although that looks kind of weird with the shelf being here. Maybe just put that back there. So you can like put some stuff in the cabinets for the horse. Like if the horse has like medicines. Actually though, we do actually have a glass cabinet that I kind of want. Cabit? Cabinet. Where did it go? Shelf. Here. Yeah, there's ones with like glass. Oh, if there was a white one, that'd be perfect. If not, we could put like the the red one here. Like, like it's a first aid. Not first aid kit, but like the first aid box maybe in this cupboard. <laughs> this, there's so much going on in this room. But I guess it's kind of real, right? Like a lot of tack rooms are sort of like all over the place, but they just work, you know? I mean, we could even put that back here instead so that maybe... Oh, I just punched out the wall. So that maybe they're like sort of out of the way. Maybe you could even do... Ah, oh, there's no white one. I wish there was a white one. I mean, there's a birch shelf, but it's like not close enough. Yeah, because... Actually, we could do that. It's kind of looking like I've gone to the thrift shop and like just gotten a bunch of like old cabinets, which is good because you wouldn't really want to buy like new furniture for like a feed room. But I also kind of hate it. Yeah, I kind of hate it. Huh. Huh. I don't know. I don't. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm definitely okay with the sink. So first of all, I am gonna put water down there so that the sink can be uh, supplied. Ooh, there we go. It's very dark down here. Oh, thank you, Shlight Creations, for subscribing. Appreciate that. Okay, sink. Yay, the sink works. Okay, nice. So the sink now does work, which is great. Um, and I have to put down the furniture first before I start decorating, because otherwise... Can you guys think of something to put here? So my vision, right, is up here, I'm gonna line some buckets, right? So this is where you get like their grain feeds and whatnot. Hmm, um... I don't know. Okay, scratch that and put this like here. Okay, so you have like a countertop and then maybe <laughs> the room looks so wonky because of that sink. Should I just do a double sink? Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just do a double sink because otherwise it's it's gonna bother me how wonky the room looks. So I will just go ahead and just create another bit of water. Um, boop. And then a double sink is better. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Felicus. I was gonna say the light isn't bright enough and then I realized the lighter that doesn't work very well is very accurate for the feed room. Yeah, I think it's more so my shaders, but as you said, like I've never been in a well-lit feed room. Like they're always like kind of dim for some reason. Um, I think, yeah, the double works better because it looks less, less lopsided at the very least. Um, is there any like crates of stuff? I mean, there's like normal crates here. <gasps> hay bales so uh we're gonna be fancy here and we're gonna stock only quality bales <clears throat> yeah but you'd have like a hay pile somewhere right you wouldn't just you wouldn't have it in the feed room nobody has like their hay in their feed room do they because you'd you, like at least in the place i worked in like there was a shed with it was just full of hay like that and you went over to fill up the nets and stuff there you didn't have it in the feed room the feed room was too small <laughs> the tag rooms are dark so you don't see the stains on the saddle pads exactly that's how they're built um i don't know what to put here i want like some kind of display but i don't know what kind of display maybe if there's an item that's nice i can put up a shelf I don't know. I mean, there's like hay 
Maybe I could put some hay nets down. Like, I'm kind of feeling like, for some reason, like a yellow hay net. Like a yellow hay net and maybe a blue one, like a cyan one. Here we go. So like you have the hay nets here and maybe like this. So like pre-filled hay nets. So we do get the bales, but like, let's just say like somebody's already filled them up for the evening or something. So you have like a small square of hay bales there or the hay nets, sorry. Because those are placeable blocks, which works in my advantage at least. Um, this is quite, or is it this one? I don't remember. This, oh, this, this one floats. This, this kind of sucks because you have to like attach it to the ceiling, I think. Whereas this one, I think you could put on the floor. But that looks silly. That looks so silly. Mm. Uh. I guess. But then we have like a wasted space back here. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Lollipop. I hope you're doing well. Bye, Midnight and Bianca. Have a nice rest of your day. Wheelbarrows? In a feed room? Would you have wheelbarrows in a feed room, though? I don't know. I feel like you'd have that... I mean, you wouldn't have it in the tack room. I guess maybe you would have wheelbarrows. I think I'd want dark green wheelbarrows. So, like... Ah, I dropped it. Hmm... I guess you kind of have them parked though, wouldn't you? Like you'd more likely have one like out here and then like maybe one extra one here. Maybe. <laughs> wheelbarrows are everywhere. That is a good point. Wheelbarrows are always everywhere. That's not working. Oh no, oh no, okay. Undo, slash undo. Um, okay, I'm not unhappy, but it's definitely, it needs some work. I think I'm gonna start decorating to kind of help me get into the vibe of things uh so i feel like a lot of buckets are gray not many buckets are white i think maybe you'd have like the old pink maybe the old dark green yeah so like oh you'd have you have black ones as well half barrel let's just try a couple ones so i want like some of them to be like normal ones and then you have like that one person who's got like the green barrels because they're a bit like they're a bit extra you know like that. How are we feeling about that? Does that look good? My horses have blue and green buckets. Is it dark green like this or like lime green? Because those are cute. Um, so that's kind of, it doesn't add a pop of color, but it does make it more realistic. So um, I can also put, ooh, maybe one of the grain feeders, but like, I don't know. But like, why would you just have a green? Like, that doesn't look right. Okay, no, no, you wouldn't have a green feeder. Um, now that the buckets are down, it's looking better. I'm gonna just pop these open and get some feed. Now, you have a choice of rose feed or sweet feed. I'm gonna go with the rose feed because it actually gives you more. So we're just gonna pop this down. Just fill up all the buckets. <laughs> That's okay, Shalai Creations. That looks a little goofy. It does a little bit. A part of me is like, all tack rooms look a bit goofy, you know? Oh, actually, maybe instead of this, this one would be the rose feed. Oh, no, 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 the other one. Sweet feed. Yeah, because there's, there's two types of feed in swim. There's sweet feed and rose feed. I think rose feed gives you slightly more, like, maybe I'll make all of these sweet, actually. Because this is like, this will be like the normal grain bin. Because I don't think you can actually put anything else in them. Yeah, so this is like the normal grain. And then you have like a bit more normal grain. And then like the special grains over here. Uh, so we'll put like one that's been like left open. Yeah, like a couple that have been sort of left open. Uh, do we have like a bowl that I can place down? I don't think there is. No, that's a shame. I was hoping I could place down a bowl. Maybe a we don't even have like ah i guess there's a flower pot yeah i also got the this pot mod but like i can't <laughs> like they're classes entities and they keep getting removed so um those yellow hay nets are giving cheese to be honest like the horse cheese or like actual cheese <laughs> that's true but the which rich ones though that's true i mean i kind of see this as like this barn is owned by people who are very well off but they're not like 
super bougie. Like, they're bougie, but, like, they also ride their own horses and they, like, they feed their own horses and stuff like that. So, like, their tack room is nice, but you can tell it's kind of been lived in, you know? Um, I was thinking, is there, like, a hay? Is there, like, a carpet that looks like hay? Because that would be kind of cool. I guess this is straw. Mm. Like, I don't make it kind of look like people have sort of been dragging stuff in. I'm not sold on that carpet. I'm not sold on that carpet at all. As soon as I stepped back, I saw it and I was like, mm, mm, maybe not. Um, I do want to sort of liven the place up a bit. Maybe we go with cornflower. Oh, that's lovely. But then... I don't know, is there like a book I can put down? Oh, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. Wait, 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 watch this. Is it this one? Oh, look at that. Look at that, that's so cool. That is so cool. I. It's the supplementaries mod, I think, that does that. So, so cool. Oh, I could get a jar as well. But what would I put in the jar? That's That's the real question. I think I can put like, I can put potions or honey. And so if I made it a potion, maybe you'd like, I don't know. What, what would you, uh, what does this look like? Kind of looks like milk. I don't like that. I was thinking like, if you had something that you were gonna like put extra on top of your, oh no, I don't want that. Um, if you were to put like, like drizzle something in um on on your horse's food like i don't know like some kind of like um supplement what what would that be and what color would it be to make it look like something that you'd add extra like medicine maybe something like medicine or like i know that there are like some supplements that you can kind of add would it be green okay this is I'll put in the potion of luck instead of the potion of poison because I feel like that's just asking for trouble. So like there's a bit of like green. Maybe that's like antibiotics. Yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe that's a bit of like antibiotics. Um, and we do currently have a stack of books. That's fine. Still looks great. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't know. What else do you guys have? in a tack room. Hi, me like toast. Oh my gosh, it has been a while. How have you been? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> candles? Would you really have candles in a tack room though? I feel like that's asking for trouble. With like flammable straw and like wooden, wooden like panels and stuff. I don't know. Photos of your horse? There are, there are paintings, but they're not very good because I think they were added from like swim patron patrons so they're just sort of like random different quality photos of like people's horses <laughs> which i love a good photo of a horse but they're just not consistent at all oops uh, let's do that uh see that was the those that you'll see wait hang on let me so this is meant to be a mirror and it's 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 not good <laughs> i think it's like this like that has I don't know. It has a specific look about it, but then like a different, well, like that has a different look. I don't know. They're just not great photos. I'm going to have to like overwrite them. Sorry, do I keep saying tack room? I do apologize. It is a feed room. <laughs> Name a pose for Sporkle. Um, uh, uh, hair flowing in the wind. There you go. Oh my God, you're so right. Thank you for, for noticing that. It must have been in my extreme aggression. Oh, thank you, me like toast. Yes, I, this is this is my full time. In case I don't remember the last time, like when exactly you were here, but yeah, this is my full time now. So that's lovely. I've been having so much fun. Um, it's grindy, don't get me wrong, but it's a hundred percent worth it. But thank you for reminding me. Candles would be funny because Susan could then cover the candles with her cover instead of the saddles. <laughs> Who's Susan? <laughs> I feel like I should know, but I don't. I don't know who Susan is. Um, putting pictures make a hole in a wall. Yeah, I know. Whoa, wow, it's been a very long time then. Cause I hit 100K last year. I think it was around this time last year. Like, I wanna say like late August, September-ish. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a couple years. Goodness, I hope you've, I hope you've um, been good though. I know life can be up and down, but I still, I hope the best for you. 
Susan is your imaginary friend you have forgotten. Oh, okay, that's terrifying. Um, so I'd say that the, the tack room is like 99% done. I'll find something to put in there, that's for sure. Also, if you guys have any mod recommendations, uh, I am open to it because the thing is, is we can add mods before we go live, but adding them afterwards has the runs the risk of like things breaking and it's not fair if people are like, if they have horses or they have like builds and stuff. The last thing we want is for like, stuff to break so if you have any mod suggestions that you'd like to see on the server please let me know now um before we go live because at that point there's not really much i can change pits and chips is that a mod or are you just <laughs> is that just something you've decided to say special ability punching walls heck yes that is me the feed room looks beautiful thank you i really do like it it's not 100 percent. i think i need to get some pictures up in here i think you guys are right so pictures up here for sure. But this is mostly like the vibe I'm going through, right? Like you come in, you can get like the scoops that you need. You can like, um, I'm like, maybe I should put like a bucket here, but I feel like the bucket's gonna be like huge. So maybe not. Um, yeah, so you can like mix up your feed for your horses, you know? Um, we do actually have the hole above the wall. Yeah, I just, I don't like it when it's like straight across. I just feel like it lacks detail, but yeah, you're right. Realistically, that would just be asking for mold in everything, even though that looks a bit weird. I have suddenly, I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now, um, but we do also have the tack room to do. So for this one, we can be a bit more sort of um, experimental. Oh, that's a lovely window. We can be a bit more experimental because we've got saddle racks. We've got bridle racks. Uh, the, it's a shame because the armor racks don't allow you to, uh, <laughs> they don't allow you to put blankets on, which is really sad, but Abby, what do you use for streaming? Um, I use OBS. OBS is the best. <laughs> Abby, do it straight across, then do stairs coming out the front. Okay. I'll take your advice. So do like this. Yeah. And then like this. Like upside down or the right way. Oh, sorry. Or the right way up. I kind of dig the upside down, I don't know. Yeah, I think I dig ups upside down more. I don't know why, but I do. There we go. Oops, that's not right at all. Let's flip that, there we go. Back scratch racks, exactly. <laughs> Fantasies furniture? Ooh. Hang on, give me a sec, I'm gonna write that down because um, I could go look it up now, but then I run the risk of like missing it. Um, so actually, now that I've said it, if you guys have um, any suggestions for mods, pop them in now. By the time you're seeing this, it'll be like 15 seconds in the future. But uh, Fantasies Furniture. Thank you ever so much, Ruta K, for the suggestion. Um, upside down? Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. Um, I actually have somewhere in the town that I do want to show you guys because I've really, I've done it up and I do want to stream, uh, do a stream of me working on it because it's a lot of fun to just do like some decorating. Um, so, Pits and Chips, it's a mod. Pits and Chips. Okay, thank you ever so much, Lunar Horses. Um... Oh, there's a wonderful Shalite Creations. That's so sweet. I'm glad I'm glad you, you like it. You picked some amazing colours for it. So I'm thinking Saddle Rack. Is that too high? I feel like that's kind of like a high Okay, maybe instead we do slab. Slab. And put a shelf. Oh, we don't have space for a shelf. Because we can't actually put anything there. Poop. Okay, your invite uh, in the description for Discord is invalid. For which one, Pinecraft Equestrian or for um, the other one? Pinecraft SMP, oh, you're right, that one is invalid. Hang on, I'll just grab that for you. Uno, uno momento. E. Let me just grab a new one. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I have just updated it. So if you would like to go um, grab that, just refresh your game. Uh, not your game, sorry, your stream. If you refresh your stream, then that should be much better. 
<laughs> Guys, I got strawberry milk. Congratulations. I know you've been you've been um, jonesing for one. So that's lovely. Um, I am going to have to figure out what I'm doing with this tack room, though, because there's so much space. Do I put the bridal racks in between like this, or does that look kind of weird? Do you guys, like, in your tack rooms, do you have your like saddles on one wall or like saddles here and then bridles here or do you have like saddle bridle saddle bridle saddle bridle like i've got here because i wanted to be realistic if i remember correctly the, the place i worked at had saddle 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 bridle 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 to like put it all together so i don't know i don't know what i want to do there isn't too much in the way of like swim decoration for the yeah because you can't really put like, there's nowhere to put the breast collar. There's nowhere to put, like, the girth strap. Um, nowhere to put the blankets either. That's a, that's a shame. I do remember, though, there is actually tack boxes. So if we were to do tack boxes, would we do them in black? I guess so. We could put maybe, like, a couple here. And then do this. Yeah. And then do, like, a couple here. Does that look silly? I don't know. Most tack rooms I've been to have a saddle and a bridle rack on the same rack. Oh, right, so it's like a combo one. Saddle one side, bridle other side, same wall. Oh, that's awesome, Kyra. That's really, that's really exciting. I keep my tack each part for each horse. Right. Put the bridles together, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll follow that then. I'll do like all of the saddles together and then, so we'll have like two lines and then put the bridles here. And then for the saddles, this is more of a, an English facility. So I'm thinking we'll just go with the English saddles to kind of keep things sort of on brand. I'm just gonna like, oh wait, do this. Yeah, gosh, you can't even really tell the, the color difference because of the lighting the lighting in here is so poor you can't you can barely see anything um save for the bridles actually we're gonna need a halter rack as well so we'll just sort of grab these um in real life obviously you'd have more like options like one would be a snaffle one would have like d-rings don't really know much about bits to be honest uh we also do need a bridle rack again in order to where would you guys keep your halters? Do you keep them like just outside the stall? Like, would you keep them here? Oh, there are tack boxes here as well, I forgot. Hmm. Yeah, but you guys would keep them outside the stall, right? Yeah, you would. So I'll um, put them here and put them here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, outside the stall. Yeah. Oh, hi, Nora. Nice to see you. Um, somebody said something about something. Eh. I don't know. Did somebody say I missed something? I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, so that's right. Okay, so for the halters, I haven't really decided what horses I'm gonna have here, but I'm just gonna grab like a bunch of sort of different colors. Um, oh, I do still need the bridle rack because I forgot the other side. I think there's four stables here. Uh, and then we'll probably have one black one. So there is actually a stable here. I guess the, yeah, the halter would be here. So we'll put the pink one here, put the yellow one here, the dark blue, oh yeah, the dark blue one here and the black one here. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that really looks nice. I love how the halters look. They look, they just look so good. Give me more places for me to like place down horsey items. Cause it's so, so good. So, so good. Um, no, I lost Rocky. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Either, um, outside each stall or on a rack in the stable. Right, okay. Got it. Okay, so you wouldn't really have it in the tack room. That's, like, a separate, like, you wouldn't really put it in here. I'm kind of running out of things to put in the tack room because, like, there's only so much I could do. Harper, thank you for the five dollars. You should put a saddle rack on the bottom and the bridle on top for each individual horse with a tack box. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of like that idea because I was just saying I'm running out of space. So that's a that's a great idea. Thank you for that idea, Harper. Um, and thank you for the five dollars. I really appreciate it. I will now enact your plan and we'll see. So you suggested saddle rack at the bottom. Okay, saddle rack at the bottom. Um, okay, with it. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this, right? I'm going to I'm going to do the saddles here 
like a space. I'll put the tack box here, right? So they have a tack box underneath and then a bridal rack here. Okay, let's flush this out and see how it looks. I have faith. I have very much faith. Where is the brown saddle? Um, this one here. Boop. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, so if we did, like, uh, these two, and then put this one here, and then do, do, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, th okay, that one's fine. And then put the English bridal here. Boop, boop. Th obviously, you, you really can't tell the colors apart too much, because it is really dark in here. But th these are the brown ones. Here are two black ones, and here's a brown one again. Um, that looks good. I'm happy with that. The head icon looks concerned. It does. This bridal's got dizzy. Oh, what, what were they like moving around? Yeah, it's not the tack room or around the fields or stall. Except if people have their own and put them in the groom box or lockers. Ooh, we should do we should do a locker. Thank you for the um, suggestion. Was it Harper? Uh, that's a lovely name. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I think that, that looks exactly what I was going for. Tack lockers. Who, like, what type of tack lockers are we talking? Like, would it be... Okay, so my typical tack locker that I've always kind of made has a door. So we, we make it like this. We do boop. And we boop, boop, boop. You see? So, like, you open the... Okay, that, that one's the wrong way around. Hang on. There we go. So you, like, open the doors. They look like school lockers. So are they, like, one? Are they, like, more like this? So you have, like a tiny bit and then have you could even put some of those inside there oh yeah but then i guess you'd have to have a you have to have a quite a gap between them oops and then one like this and then one like this how do those look i'm not mad about them so on the top i usually put like a trap door mm, which one fits I guess this one it looks a bit modern and I'm not a huge fan of the textures, but like then we put a saddle rack uh, And a bridle rack What about that or a tack box? What about a tack box on the bottom? So technically you can't like properly store your bridle in here, but for tack box Maybe we could put something like a little more like with a bit more personality so we've got like uh, yeah, what was the other colour? So we had pink and black. So I'll have one, I think it's this one, and this one. Okay, so we didn't get to do the black one, that's fine. So you have a bit more personality in them. And then maybe in here we could even... Do you, do you guys think I should put a western saddle in here, or should I stick to the English theme? Should I stick to the English theme? Because obviously we can get, like, colours on, uh, the tack. It looks quite tight in there. Uh, or we could go with the English saddle to make it fit a bit better, I think. What do you guys think? You stick... Ooh. Western saddle can't hurt. Add Western to have a mix of both. Okay, so I'll put that in there. We'll put, like, the pink one here because that's cute. Um, we'll put... Maybe the adventure saddle on the yellow. What does the emerald saddle look like? Hold on. I'll grab this. I want to see what some of these look like. Uh, a copper saddle? Yeah, so I'll just use this as like a... That's a... That's a very boring looking saddle. It's a netherite saddle. Okay. Um, USA Adventure Saddle. USA. USA. Okay, that is also an interesting looking saddle. Um, copper saddle. Oh, oh, goodness. That copper saddle is lovely. I've got to put this one in there. Oh, that one's so pretty. And the emerald saddle? Mm, it looks a bit fancy. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I think I'm going to put that one away. Uh, so instead for the blue, we could leave it in the English saddle. You should make a tack cleaning station place. What do those look like? Are they, are they mostly just like a seat with like a bucket of like cleaner or is it like a desk? Should I put like a desk on one of these? Oops. The saddle holder does look like a toilet. You are correct. Um, oh, lead rope colors. Uh, go with like light, like a pastel blue if you've got one of those. 
Or maybe... Yeah, do like a pastel blue and white, if possible. Uh, a desk so your stuff doesn't go on the ground. Okay, roger that. Oh god, these desks are going to be the de death of me. Maybe a table? I just... They have such horrible textures. <laughs> um, so I think in the tack room, things are a bit more fancy. We could do the dark oak table like this. Yeah, and we'll put, I wish they had stools, but they don't. And it's silly. I want stools. Instead, I have to put a chair down. And the chairs don't look that good. Yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. Um, yeah, so I guess I could even do this then instead. So you have an, <laughs> a nice window view for when you're cleaning your tack. Uh, let me pop this in so that the room is actually technically complete. Yeah, oh, that's nice. You have, like, a nice window view. Okay. And I'm thinking, I learned this trick. Hang on, barrel. So we'll put down, like, a black half barrel. We'll put it here. We'll put water in it. Bear with me. It's going to look a bit crazy right now. Um, frame. Yeah, put this. And then a sponge. Okay, so we have the barrel with the water in it there. And then we put down an invisible item frame and put a sponge down. Oh, you can see it through the... Okay, you can't see it through the desk, but that's okay. So I'm thinking, like, you can grab the sponge and then clean the tack with it, right? Yeah. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I mean, how do I turn off peeing on my swim horses? You have to go into the config files. I can't remember how to do it right now, but if you go into their Discord, they'll have an explanation. Yes, it absolutely works. I'm pretty chuffed at that. This wall is looking a bit... Oh, no, I know how to fix it. Hold on. I know definitely how to fix this. So there's a blackboard. So we'll put, like, here. And, oops. And then I'm thinking... We do rosettes on here. What are they called? Hold on. Three-tailed ribbon. Oh, these don't look that good, though. Yeah, the, the swim rosettes don't look that great. This one does. The champion ri ribbon and the re reserve ribbon. You just don't look that good. <laughs> um, I guess I'll grab, like, the yellow one. The yellow one looks okay. Uh, pink one, yep, and the blue one. Okay, so we'll just sort of put this here. Oh, they're 3D! Oh, oh, they're 3D! That's so cool! Oh, that one isn't. Oh, that one, that's very sad. Oh, wait, is this one just placeable? Uh, that's why it's 3D. Can this one be placed? <gasps> Can they all be placed? <gasps> oh, I'm discovering things. Okay, that's really cool. Um, it does suck that... Oh, actually, they look so much better in person. I'm so sorry. I take that back. Okay, I <laughs> I retract my previous statement. Uh, they look bad in the icon, but in, like, as a placeable item, they look great. I, I apologize. I retract my previous statement. Uh, so here, instead, we're going to put, like, some rosettes down. That's cute. I really like that. So this is the blackboard where maybe you write down, like, oh, plants. Ooh, good idea. So I think... We do have, um, we do pot. I think they have like the big pots. Maybe we could do like, yeah, duh, 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 duh. and then maybe pick, oh, the, in this texture pack, the flower, like the tall flowers are really lovely. Maybe put a lilac in here. So maybe put one like here. Oh, pop of flower, uh, pop of color, pop of flower, uh, pop of color in the room. And uh, I kind of want to put... Oh, no, I can't. Can't put any on that wall. That might have to do... It's not... Oh, hang on. I'll also do... Hold on. A pot. I'll do a mini pot and then do... And maybe a lily of the valley because those are really gorgeous. Uh, put one here and put one here. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. It's a shame I can't... I, if I could, I would squeeze one in here. But um, it doesn't work. Should I put a carpet down? I feel like maybe I should. Mm. But like a nice carpet. Uh, maybe a red carpet. Maybe that would look nice. Ooh, fancy. 
This is like one of those carpets that you're like, you would never tread barefoot on because you know it's like absolutely disgusting because like people are coming in from like outside. Or you should put a bridle next to the tack cleaning station. Okay, I'll try that. Um, bridle. And then let's just put the black one. So like maybe one here. Oh, that's cute. But now I feel like it looks a bit cluttered in that corner. Yeah, I really like this plant, but I think I'm going to take it away because it does look just ever so slightly too cluttered. That looks better. I do miss the plant. Maybe. Is there a hanging plant we could do? I mean, there's one of these. I guess we could. Oh my gosh, we can't even put the hanging plants down because the ceiling's too high. Oh, that sucks. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's all right. Um, oh, a dog bed. We'll do... What color should we do? Maybe this one. This one looks kind of fancy. I just, I don't really have anywhere to... Maybe... Mm, here. Mm, it's kind of in the way of someone. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of tucked away. I really wish I could use this space in between here, but I can't. Hi, Catherine. Um, yeah, that's that's a shame, really. I can't, I can't put too much in there. But... That's a pretty good tack room. Yeah, it's always the yellow light. I've had I've had people say that, that it's always like super dim and it's always yellow. Um, you do deserve a barn cat, considering the last one I had, I lost. So I should probably have a barn cat at some point. Um, so what else I need to do? I need to, I'll finish the Paddock Paradise off camera because that way, if it goes terribly wrong, you guys won't have to see it. Um, I need to work on this courtyard for sure. I need somewhere to put like a large amount of hay, like, um, I don't know, some kind of shed. I don't know if maybe I'll make another storage building. I don't know. I need somewhere to put a lot of hay. Um, is there anything else we really need? Because we've got like this wash station. I don't remember if I made this on stream. I don't think I did. But uh, I, I made this sort of um, by myself. And I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty good. But other than that, I think we've just got to mainly focus on this on this corner, courtyard. Thank you, um, Brooke Shady. That's very nice. Um, I do have one. One horse of, is chilling over here. They're my test horse. They're just for me to see if everything's working as it should. As you can see, I put down like one jump. So I still have some details. I think next time I'll definitely focus on this area here. And then we might be done other than like some little bits and bobs. Before you go though, I'll show you a bit of the work that I've been doing in the town. So this town is accessible by everybody, as in like everybody who has access to the server. So you can come here and role play. Essentially, if you haven't heard, the server's not open yet and it's purely a role play server. There's no economy. You don't have to like, like purchase extra coins, like nothing like that. Pretty much as soon as you um, like purchase your membership to come onto the server, you can do literally whatever you want. Um, other, there will be a few rules, like obviously behave and don't spawn too many things, don't crash the server. Uh, but essentially you can role play and do whatever you want and um, like build stuff, you know, whatever you're into really. This is a pub that I made. I am pretty happy with it. Can you imagine coming here and sitting with your friends and um, I could even be a waiter if I wanted to come in, be, be a bartender. Um, what, what would I? I'm not your typical bartender, um, but it's it's fine. I'm still here. Another thing that I was working on: this whole building needs to be done on the inside. I did this um, sort of. It's it's like a public jump course. It's called No Offense Training Course. I thought it was funny because it says like offense, you know, no offense. See, is this the original town center for Pinecraft? It is, you are correct, you are correct. Um, and so in this like parking lot area, we've got some uh, trailers. You can hit your horses on the side of the trailers. Here's Sporkle, uh, who has uh, loyally been testing out these jumps. And then obviously you take your horse inside for like some grass training. Um, oh, that's lovely Schleich, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you do, yeah, this this was like the beta of Pinecraft. Um, and although we didn't bring the map over, it's fine because we got it now. We're using it now. And one final thing that I've been working on, and this was like my favorite, favorite thing ever is uh, this is the market. So in here, each stall is a different like theme. So of course, this is a Halloween store. Uh, again, you won't technically be able to purchase stuff, but you might be able to come here and like see blocks that you like. Um, and you can then just like middle click and grab them. 
Uh, so this is the wine kind of stall. Over here we've got fresh baked bread. Here we've got a fish stall for your for all your sushi needs. This is the obligatory crystal shop. Uh, they also sell candles and whatnot. Oh, there's a bit of the floor missing there. Uh, this is eggs. This is just it's just eggs. This is all they do. It's chicken here. Just eggs. Uh, this is your record shop. This is like your hip place to go. Um, this is the candle shop. This is the dedicated candle shop. This, I don't know what it is. It's just... Oh, wait. I have to show you this, though. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Give me this. Look at this. Guys, there's bubbles. There, there It's bubbles. In my... In my... I'm blowing bubbles. That's so fun. It's a witchcraft shop, exactly. Um, so you have bubble blowers here. Didn't really know what else to make of this shop. Maybe like a candy shop as well, I don't know. Uh, here we have kebabs. This is my favorite shop to make. These are actually from the swim mod. They're treats on a string. But when I put that, like when I stacked them, I was like, they look like kebabs. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I have to set up a kebabs, uh, kebab shop. Um, so you have like some other meat options as well. And you have like your grills. This is my favorite shop to make by far. Um, this is like, oh goodness, this is the farm kind of shop, so you've got your natural produce. Um, this, this, this store felt a little bit cruel. Uh, we have some exotic pets in cages, uh, like, a, oh yeah, actually I should probably say, <laughs> trigger warning for, uh, arachnophobia. This is a tarantula. Uh, they're really scary in the way that they move, but, um, he's in a cage, so he's fine. He's also a massive rabbit that I caught. Uh, here's your books. So this is like your secondhand books, your flower shop, uh, and this is your treat stand. So you've got like your cakes and your sweets and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna ignore the cages, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, by far my favorite was the cab uh, kebab shop. They're awesome. Um, so are you going to traffic exotic animals on your server? <laughs> no, I swear. I was just trying to fill up like stalls. I swear I'm not doing that. I swear. Um, actually, I also forgot I have Oh my god, wait, should I show you? I don't know if there's any about. There's, oh, wait, oh, no, that's not one of them. I d they're probably about somewhere, but I'll just spawn one in for you to see. Because this is very important. Here is a bee. They're so small. This is, oh god, where'd they go? This is the size that bees should have been in Minecraft. They're so tiny and I love them. They're just, they're literally just bee-sized. So th these guys just get to hang out. And that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Red Dead Clips. I appreciate that. I've had fun just like bimbling around, uh, making some stuff, and we got some like fairy lights and a picnic spot. I've still got loads to sort of fill in. Um, I'm not going to be doing the interior of a lot of these buildings because there's so many buildings. Um, but I'm just kind of having fun bimbling around to make some more like, you know, um, immersive places for for people to kind of come and visit and record in. Obviously, we we encourage people to record if they want to. Roleplay series more than welcome. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have to show you for today, uh, but I've been having a lot of fun, so th a big thank you to, um, Midnight and Bianca for, uh, the membership gifting, and to Harper for the $5, I really appreciate that, um, so we might be streaming next week, I'm not sure though, because it is my sister's birthday next week, so, um, I don't want to push myself too much, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff next week uh, but it'll be fun so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>